I'll share one experience with you that I had with the Lord. One day I was laying on the couch. I was very, I was going through a lot of things. And I was at one of the lowest times of my life because of direction. And I sat on the couch and I was really thinking and I was like, ah, Lord, you have to speak to me. Then all of a sudden, the Lord told me, I am coming to talk to you. He, fear gripped me. <laughs> <laughs> Fear came over me. I'm being very honest. Fear got it. When people tell you, you'll be, yeah, you'll be, mm, Lord, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm telling you the truth. Is it the most amazing experience? Yes. <laughs> but it will shake you. <laughs> so all of a sudden, a, like a drowsiness came over me. This is like, 11 in the day drowsiness just overshadowed me and I, I couldn't I'm trying to and I knew oh man I'm being taken so if <laughs> <laughs> and the moment I just I'm feeling my I have no longer control of my physical body and bang physically on the couch the moment I fall on the couch, I look across and I see a man walking. You hear footsteps like this. No, I'm not saying in a dream, physical. <laughs> and I had footsteps of a man walking and when I looked, I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's the Lord. <laughs> immediately my spirit I'm, t I'm sharing I'm sharing a truth with you I can only teach you by what God has shown me I cannot tell you what another person's experience is immediately it was like when I heard his footsteps it was like I was in in like a second I was transported I was no longer in the house I found myself sitting. I don't know if I should share this. This is, I've, I've never really shared this a lot with people. I saw myself in a garden somewhere in the heavenly realm. And there was a lot of some men of God I recognized, some men I didn't. These are not people I met in my lifetime. I saw prophets of old. I saw some men of God of recent time, but before my time. I saw them. And it was like a small gathering like this. And I was sitting among them. And when I was sitting there, I'm observing this now. I'm thinking to myself. <sighs> then the Lord Jesus, then all of them all of a sudden said, the Lord is here. The Lord is coming to speak to us. Everybody got off their chair and they went on their knees. Everybody bowed themselves. And the Lord did not come in front of them to speak. He walked and came to where I was sitting. He told me, son, sit up. I sat up. And the Lord spoke to me a lot of things. Then after he spoke to me, all of a sudden we were back. It was like this. We were back in the house. And when we were back in the house, I, I, I realized that he had put me back inside my body. So I'm trying to stand up. He tells me, no, it's okay. Just lay down. He spoke to me a lot of things. In this amount of time, this will happen. This amount of time, this will happen. And the Lord Jesus got up and he told me, I showed you that because that's where you are. And he turned and he started walking again. And he turned again and he said, you know how much I love you? I started crying. I said, Lord, I don't know. When I think about this, it messes me up. And he walked again he said, you know how much I love you? You're my prophet, I love you. And then he walked and he, he was gone. And I came back to myself. 
I realized something that day. Not everybody is going to see a burning bush. Not everybody is going to see fireworks. I am the Lord. God will reveal himself according to your capacity. Sometimes it will be just a knowing inside of you that the hand of the Lord is upon me is more than enough than you seeing a big open <laughs> the point is God has reached out to you can that be increased absolutely but the power is not in the manifestation of what you see the power is in knowing who has spoken to you I thought I was talking to some people.